Okay, Hawk Nation, I'm back. Uh, do the final touch up of my tomato, basil, garlic, pesto sauce, and pasta. Uh, it's been simmering for a little while. Looks really good. That is a huge heaping. That's going to feed quite a few people. I'm going to uh, market it. Not market it, but I'm going to say it's going to feed about uh, six people. Now keep in mind, the pasta is already mixed in with everything you're looking for. You got your meats, your vegetables, your starch, your seasoning. Um, to that, I am going to add some pan seared red snapper that's been steak cut. I cut it myself. I didn't clean it. I got it from the market. Uh, I had them clean it, gut it, and behead it. And I saved the gutting and the head for my garden. Uh, it's going to be compost. Uh, it's a special type of compost that, uh, that where as though you go down about two feet deep and uh, into the soil and let it compost over a whole season and then it's going to be readily available for you next year. But the fish itself is pan seared. I got a, a, a recipe from YouTube and basically I am going to take this red snapper and I have some basil from my home garden. and. Just place it in the pan. I'm trying to do this all professional like I want to have a hard time with this hand here. So guess what? I am going to use a spatula. Get one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my spatula again. I want to turn this down some more. So I am going to add the pan seared red snapper to the dish and even some of my uh, basil from the home garden. Just sprinkle that on top. Let it simmer for about another five minutes. Add some parsley to add to it, but I'll add this garnishment of basil that's left over to the final dish, uh, along with some fresh parsley from the herb, my herb garden. Uh, so let's let this go for about another five minutes and then we'll be all done and I'll take a picture of the finished product. 